TLO, what's poppin'? We are on Twitch. We are live. By the time you see this, we won't be. So just leave a like, comment, subscribe, turn on your post notification bells. Let's continue to grow the uh, family from Chicago to the UK. You see it behind me. This is a little warning screen, but, you know, shouldn't be nothing too crazy. Also, Twitch.com. That's where you can catch any previous lives or future lives. Usernames right at the bottom of the screen. We also got Patreon, where we post five days per week. And we also got merch. Salute. <laughs> um, this is Skyboy. Skyboy's channel, uh, The Deadly War in North London, DC8 versus OTP. Skyboy is almost at 20,000 subs. He's at 19,900 and some change, probably. Salute. If you haven't subbed over to him, go sub up, man. He deserves it, man. He's working hard. You know, I want to say, man, with most of these documentaries, man, it's hard to get 100% of the information right. You know what I'm saying? But nevertheless, all we can do is strive for greatness as channels. <laughs> I'm not a documentary channel, but I watch them. Salute, though. Anyway. Copyright disclaimer under Section 107 of the Copyright Act 1976, allowance is made for fair use for purposes such as criticism, comment, news reporting, teaching, scholarship, and research. Fair use is a use permitted by copyright statute that might otherwise be infringing. Nonprofit, educational or personal use tips the balance in favor of fair use. No copyright infringement intended. All rights belong to their respective owners. Dang, oh, my fault. Okay, today we are in North London. Turpine Lane to be precise. I'll be discussing a modern feud between two sides who were once one, their history, and why things transpired the way they did. To learn the history, I have to take you back to the early 2000s. In December 2005, young men from Edmonton, Wood Green and Tottenham came together to form a gang known as the North London Somalis. Now during this period, they had issues with another Somali gang based in Camden known as Sanction Crew. The dispute was triggered after a fight at the infamous Eros nightclub that used to exist on Enfield Retail Park until it closed in 2006. Now 13 members of the Century crew travelled into NLS territory on the 29 night bus. When they got to the territory, they attacked Muhammad Noor after chasing him into a McDonald's car park and began- Bro, did a, they did a ride out on the bus on a double decker? That's crazy. And attacking him with bats, concrete slabs and knives. Noor was left permanently disabled after the attack, leaving him barely alive. They then caught the bus back to Camden. On the and took the bus back? So you waited on the bus stop <laughs> after the... Okay. 28th of January 2006, That's not funny, but then... North London Somalis travelled down to Camden to attack members of the Century Crew in revenge for Muhammad Noor. This is when things sadly turned fatal. September 2007 in London. Today, a father is doing the most terrible thing a parent can do. Burying a child. He's burying his son. Put your shoulder underneath. Follow me, please. R.I.P. In Camden, it was a mother who had to endure the pain of bearing her son. Local student Maher Osman was setting off for home when he was murdered in January 2006. Maher Osman was only a day away from turning 19 and he was standing at this bus stop just behind me. A gang of Somali boys had come to this area out to avenge an attack on one of their own and they wanted to get their hands on any Somali boy. And they found Maher and they attacked him with a viciousness that was just horrific. A total of 13 people have been convicted for their part in the murder over the last four years, including former Uganda president Idi Amin's son, Faisal Waginta. Faisal Waginta, 25, was one of the president Idi Amin their part in the murder over the last four years, including former Uganda president Idi Amin's son, Faisal Waginta. Why is he Faisal on Waginta, road? 25, was one of the 13 men. But somebody's president's son is on road? What were you thinking? Convicted over the killing of Mahir Osman in January 2006. 
Osman was stabbed more than 20 times in a feud between rival gangs. Faisal Waginta was cleared of murder but was jailed for five years after being found guilty of violent disorder, conspiracy to wound. His lawyer revealed that in an earlier hearing that his father was the former Uganda dictator, blamed for the murder of tens of thousands of people during oh. the rule between 1971. Not my bad, then. He wasn't the greatest guy I got to see either for this freedom speech, but I cannot guarantee freedom after this speech. One and 1979. During the early 2010s, NLS had issues with South Tottenham Gang N15, who were based in four estates, Tiverton, Edgecote Grove, Stonebridge and Chestnut. Now on the 9th of March 2013, NLS member Ibs, real name Ibrahim Ali, and a friend were at a party in Stamford Close N15 when a fight broke out. Ibs would be stabbed several times by N15 members. Ibrahim was stabbed in the stomach so viciously his intestines were exposed and found collapsed in the reception of a cab firm about 100 metres away in Broad Lane. He was pronounced dead at Royal London Hospital. His friend received several wounds to the head and elbow but managed to escape further injury by running to Tottenham Hill Rail Station. Now one of Ibrahim's attackers had been assaulted during the fight, suffering serious head injuries himself. The opposing group were Albanian males which included Ibrahim's friend. Now Ches Degozi 28, Reese Brown 21 and Lamar Martin 18 were found guilty at the Old Bailey of the murder of Ibrahim Ali and the unlawful wounding of a 20 year old man. Ches 23 years each. Ches Degozi was jailed for a minimum of 26 years. 26. Reese Brown was ordered to serve 20 years while Martin was given 14 years. Well, NLS average. which later became known as Turnpike Lane were itching for revenge. N15 as well as any of the gangs they were affiliated with such as Broadwater Farm were now targets. OFB member Desi, Desi was later shot by TPO, causing him to lose one of his kidneys. This event was later taunted in many TPO drill songs such as Philly Don't Dance and Shift. On the 19th of June 2018, TPO members were outside Turnpike Lane Station when they confronted Edmund Januzzi and his brother before attacking them. Now there are lies surrounding these two innocent civilians. Many lies on the internet about Edmund being a drug plug who was close with OFB Olders, which is pure fabrications. Some rumours floating around he was attacked for his phone, but only those who attacked him know why they did it. Sadly, Edmund was killed in assault while his brother, Eraldi Perci, was left with a fractured skull. Now, Mr. Genozzi and Mr. Presci, both Albanian nationals, were threatened by one of the group as they made their way home from dinner with their cousin. An altercation began that quickly escalated into a disproportionately one-sided attack. As the pair was set upon by the group of men, Mr. Genozzi sustained 19 separate injuries to his body, including a stab wound to the heart. Seven men were arrested. Police <sighs> said the defenders had spent the day hanging around a Duckett's common area in Harringay, drinking, fighting, and engaged in acts of antisocial behaviour. The court heard the young men, who all knew each other, were all involved in drug dealing, felt they owned the area. Now, Bill's real name, Bilal Mokmin, was found guilty of murder, as well as violent disorder and possession of an offensive weapon, and was jailed for life of a minimum of 18 years. Said Omar Mohammed, 21 from Tottenham, was found guilty of. Not gonna lie, this is this is uh this is uh trending in the direction of no winners, per usual. Violent disorder and possession of an offensive weapon. The rest were all convicted of violent disorder. Now the brother's mother, Dava Pressi, who was unable to travel from Albania for the trial, said in a statement, "On the 9th of June, my world changed forever, leaving me so broken and empty inside." I am left to relive the images of the fear and pain my sons went through over and over again. I can no longer sleep in peace. Stress. Tell me, bro. How dare you? How dare you even say that shit? The fuck? You're on the road, ties, bro. Hold on. Let me just. Let me just show you side. You see that TV, bro? You see that TV? My phone's bigger than that TV. Hold on. See that boombox? You even know what those things are, fam? That thing's older than both of us put together. You see that? DVD player. Don't know about them things there, man. You're a young man. 2001, baby. About your stress. What you got to be stressed about? Oh, your Netflix trying out. Dig. During this period, TPL were extremely close. Is it just me, but hearing somebody talk about the stresses of life that they've put on themselves, 
is insane. These are naturally things. These aren't natural stresses from day to day living. This is some shit you brought on yourself from trying to be from, from not trying, but from really thugging it out. You did that. You know what I'm saying? Bro, talking about my phone bigger than the TV. I understand. But was your willpower bigger than your ego? No, it wasn't. <laughs> That's why you in jail. Chill out. Free him, no. You know what I'm saying? To Wood Green while their Ops M15 were close with OFB and MPK. Now a respected TPO member in Philly, also known as H, would post a snap story where he would diss a Wood Green member known as Lamps, who was respected but recently died. This caused all the members of TPO to rush him on camera and demand he take down the story. This event was the start of TPO splitting into two. Uh, as soon as you lost your face, hold it, hold it. Move. Move. Shut up, move. shut up. Move. For what? For what? Move. 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 Yeah? I'm your friend! Yeah? I'm your friend! I'm your friend! Up, you fucking ass! What? Yeah? Sorry! Yeah? Sorry. If that story's not down in two minutes! Two minutes! Two minutes! Two minutes! Two minutes! Within 24 hours of Philly. Bro, bro was honestly and clearly afraid for his life. This is somebody for, afraid for their life. Bro thought he was about to pass through to the other part of uh, the dark side with this. But see, this is what I'm saying, man. If, if you're not ready for the smoke, you shouldn't be talking crazy. And I'm not just saying him. I'm talking anybody in general. <laughs> man. You post, even these are your homies. You know, let me hear, start this up. In Philly, also known as H, would post a snap story where he would diss a Wood Green member known as Lamps, who was respected but recently died. This caused all the members of TPO to rush him on camera and demand he take down the story. You know what I'm saying? Why, why would he even diss? Uh, why was he dissing? Like, I'm not too concerned about y'all beef and who y'all diss, but I'm just curious. Why did he do it? You know what I'm saying? His own guys got on him. Bro was screaming, I'm I'm your friend. I'm, uh, this event was the start of TPO splitting into two. I'm gonna bust your face! Hold it! Hold it! Shut up! Shut up! Shut up. He said, why are you doing this to me? For what? For what? I'm his name! You screwed me! I'm your friend! I'm your friend! I'm your friend! Twice? You fucking ass! What? Yeah? Yeah? Sorry! If that story's not down in two minutes! Two minutes! Two minutes! Two minutes! Two minutes! Within 24 hours of Philly being rushed, two of his attackers were stabbed, with one of them being on life support. Now I mean, hey, Philly spun, but at the end of the day, like, now what? Now we internally beefing? DPL will start releasing drill music under the rappers JoJo, O Miz, and TD. They would gain traction very quickly for their good beat selection Heard all of and them. name dropping of OFB, who were extremely popular then. Encouraged by the success of Jojo, Omiz, and TD, Albanian and Turk rappers in BM, Sava, and Mini would start releasing music under the TPO name too. They started to create a buzz. H, also known as Philly, didn't like this and called them out on Snapchat. He explained how they never put in work in the streets, nor have touched any of their ops, so they have no right to drop drill music. Philly and his older brother GB and those loyal to him became known as DC8, named after the area they're chilling called Duckett's Common in NA. Okay, the DC. other side of TPO became known as OTP, which stood for Original Turpite Lane. So that was the split? Smoke squad. DC8 now got close with MPK, Wood Green's most bitter rivals, effectively making it known there was no way back for the unification of TPO. Now Sava would be attacked by DC. I always wonder what happened to the why why they split up like that, but clearly. And I always thought to myself, like, man, y'all was y'all was making way more money together. I don't know what caused the split, but now I know, like yeah. ain't no coming back. In the words of hate, it goes what it is. Bus open. Not long after the rapper Mini would catch Ole Miss lacking and beat him up. This event was captured on camera and shared on his Snapchat. H later down the line recording himself in a car chase, chasing Mini and Sava as they fled.
pure negativity. Now with all the tits for tats, OTP would release their plugged in special with fumes. This track would go viral. The opening verse takes shots at H aka Philly by saying, in zone 8 trying to cause some hell, made Philly dance cut shapes as well, they can't hack B so they sing like Adele. This was a play on DC8 song known as Philly Don't Dance, alluding to the fact they shot at Philly causing him to cut shapes and dance. This plugged in would gain more than 10 million views within months after blowing up on TikTok. It currently sits at 4 million views. The OTP rappers BM Mini and Sabah were now international artists. DC8 artist Jojo and Omiz would respond on their own plugged in with the lyrics. I don't know about BM, I'm on my block from AMs to PMs. I know they pray that I don't see them. Dickhead civilians talking on GMs. GMs being gang members. Jojo would also mention an OTP member known as Cams by saying, I don't know how Cams is alive, alluding to the fact he was close to his death. Keep this in mind as this line will sound more spooky later down the story. Sava himself will later be stabbed by DC8 members and airlifted by helicopter to the hospital where he later recovered. Now despite fans and drill commentators attempting to make beef out of some sort of race war between Somalis and Albanians, both gangs actually have both ethnicities within their gangs. In fact, the boss of OTP is a Somali known as Ishmatik. On the 21st of September 2021, OTP member Arab and a couple Palmer Green members got in a ride to look for DC8 members. They spotted S1, real name Shamaka Mahmoud, while walking along green lanes in Harangway. Unfortunately, S1 suffered 8 gunshot wounds to the chest, arms and bicep and was pronounced dead. Dang. The driver of a passing moped and pedestrian were also hit by bullets but survived. CCTV footage captured oh, that was this? racing in apparent celebration. I did a reaction to this, I remember this. Ali Cisse, 29, admitted murder and two counts of wounded with a tent after giving evidence in his old Bailey trial. The ringleader was jailed for life with a minimum term of 35 years. Gave evidence? His spotter, Arab OTP, real name Abdul Muhammad, 25 years old, and Mehdi Yonis, 22, from Enfield, were found guilty of the charges and were jailed for life with a minimum term of 36 years and 31 years, respectively, for their roles. Younger recruits Jayma and Joyce Manzenza from Waltham Forest were also convicted after a trial and were each detained at His Majesty's pleasure for at least 22 years. The saddest thing about this was how close S1 was with OTP members Arab and Ishmaelis a few years ago and now Arab is rotting in prison for his part in the murder of an old friend. DC8 members paid their respects to their fallen brother while their ops mocked his death. That's so far, 13 minutes in and it's trending towards no winners even more now. It's trending towards no, everybody's dead, everybody's in jail, and everybody lost a lot of money. That's what, that's what, that's what, do e boy. That's what, that's what, that's what, do e boy. Now on the 24th of July 2022, Cam's OTP, real name Camilo Palacio of Colombian descent, was walking in Wood Green when several shots were fired at him from inside a Range Rover. At least six shots were fired, one of them hitting Cam's in the chest at 9.30pm. Unfortunately, Cam's was pronounced dead at the scene at 10pm. Now Big T, real name Abbas Ahmed, who was the younger brother of H and GB, was charged with the murder of Cam's. However, Mr. Ahmed appeared in a dock in the Old Bailey when he was told there was not enough evidence to continue with the case. Via video link, prosecutor Oliver Glasgow KC told the court that the following, a lengthy conference to review the case, we have taken a view as things presently stand that there is not sufficient evidence to proceed with the prosecution. Addressing the defendant, Judge Philip KC said, Mr. Ahmed, the prosecution have decided for the time being at any rate based on the evidence they are not going to discontinue the case against you you are discharged the proceedings are discontinued mr Dang. ahmed from tottenham who appeared in court in a black track suit responded with okay thank you now dc8 members were quick to mock the death of cam oh. there was a get back and no one was behind bars for it Come on, bro. These guys are fucking nerds, bro. It's not they are not TPO, they're not OTP. There's there's no such thing as OTP. First I'm thing, OTP. No OTP. I'm no, OTP. There's no bro. such thing as OTP, bro. There's no such thing as OTP. They're not OTP, they're not TPO. They are smoke squad. They are smoke squad. At whatever smoke squad is. 
Padme Juice Mall Squad, that's what they are, they're in that bracket. They are not Reject from Wood Woodgreen, Edmonton, Palmer, Barnet. There's, and there's, a, there's, a, there's a whole nother list. There's more fucking people, bro. What the fuck is this all about, bro? I don't know where they're from. I don't know where to catch these. I don't know where to find them. I don't know where to, to look for them. I don't know where to find them. Nah, oh, TD's not... Too, TD's, TD's not. You know what happens, Jojo, and I, niggas rap. Right. GB, cool. And Cobra Kai fans so much, yeah? Let's talk some facts now. When they started trying to rap... Is this Instagram Live? It always baffles me why gangsters get on Instagram Live and have a whole conversation about the inner workings of gangs and, and, and like, these type conversations. This is baffling. Do they really think the justice system, you know what I'm saying? Where and wherever they are, are not watching, they're watching. Whatever. And even if they're not watching, somebody out there is screen recording. And it's it's there forever. You know what I'm saying? It's there. Okay, today it just, we are in I don't know, man. That that I, that's never smart. I don't feel I'm OTP, oh, there's no bro. such thing as OTP, but oh, bro, the fuck is this all about, bro? I don't know where to find. I don't know where to catch these. I don't know where to find them. I don't know where to, to look. I don't know where to find them. Nah, oh, TD's not. TD's TD. T- you know what happens, Jojo and I, niggas rap. I, I, GB cool and the Cobra Kai fans so much. Yeah, let's talk some facts now. When they started trying to rap whatever, and you gave them the green light, what what happened? I told them you cannot rap for TPL. Mm. What did they do? They ran to you. I came to you because I can't go to them if you're telling them yes, I right? mm. asked you, bro, what's happening with this? You laughed to me. You said, bro, they're civilians. Let them have a little bit of fun. That's what you said to them. And look what this fun got them. Now, there's something very interesting and mysterious going on with the OTP rapper Sava. In February 2024, a man and a woman died after a white Citroen dispatch crashed after driving the wrong way down the M25 following a police chase. Barakan Nursin, 22, of High Road in Tottenham, appeared at St Albans Crown Court. Fahad Dek, 23, from Enfield, had been travelling in a van with Nursin and was also killed in a crash. Four others were seriously injured in the collision and Mr Nursin admitted four charges of causing injury by dangerous driving. He also pleaded to guilty to causing the deaths while driving. See, that's why I don't like to play with people in their cars when they get to playing and doing... Let me out. ...license and insurance. Now, the online Reddit detectives discovered under the credits of one of Sava's songs was the name Barakan Nursi. Also, Sava's not new to car crashes. He was involved in one two years ago. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Bro hit a motorcycle? OTP have been very quiet about this for obvious reasons. But yeah, this tragic event could well see Sava going down for at least 10 plus years. Now with the cycle of revenge only creating future tits for tats, there's optimism that things are slowing down with the gang member H, also known as Philly, seemingly maturing and leaving the streets for a career in coding. Hopefully they all follow suit and put this vicious cycle of violence behind them this brings me to the end of this video as always my bad i was on mute i said this philly dude he's leaving the streets for call hey, at some point you gotta get you know grow up and realize the cycle that you're in you know? I send my condolences to the family of everyone i mentioned please make sure to like and subscribe yeah man r.i.p to everybody lost free the guys that's in jail I know I'm contradicting, but, you know. Uh, also, what have we learned? There's no winners. Y'all, y'all lost out on tons of money, probably. Uh, jumped in beef instead. Split up the gang. Split up the record label. I'm going to call it a record label for YouTube. Split up the record label. Beefed. People lost their life. People in jail. Who won? Nobody. Yeah, leave a like, comment, subscribe, and go.